What up, Christmas light hangers? So, today, we're going to talk about some Christmas lights. No, we're not. Today, I'm going to talk about an inverter. So, I'm setting up my trailer here. This is a training trailer. I'm going to be tr um, trying to do trainings. Um, in fact, I have a training maybe coming up in Nashville. Um, if you would be interested in my Nashville training, please comment below. It'll be the middle of October. I have my daughter's soccer um, team is having a tournament down there, and I may come down early on a Thursday, Friday, and do some Christmas site training. Let me know if you would be interested in that. But today, we're going to talk about an, an inverter. And the reason why I'm putting an inverter in this trailer is, is I want to be able to turn all the lights on so that I can show the difference between a beautiful 48-inch reef and just a 48 inch reef. Um, and what the different types of lights are, I can put some different types of lights in here, and that way I can show the difference inside here also, not only when we're doing our training on a house, when it's up on the house, um, and actually doing the training on a real house with real electric to know, you know, where we gotta run electric, how we run electric, and every all the questions that always get asked when you're trying to learn this kind of stuff. So that's why when I do my trainings, they're on real houses. So today I'm gonna to show you about this inverter here and how I'm going to install it and how we will make it work and and reason why I'm doing it. I could have got a smaller one, but I wanted this one here, the 11, um, 1100 watt, so that way if I need to charge batteries, for my drill, I can actually charge batteries. I do have a, a marine battery in here, in this trailer, and I have a solar panel that I can stick out to help keep that battery charged so that way I can run other things. So the next thing we're gonna do is, is we need, it comes with the two wires here, and we're gonna hook this to the battery. I'm actually gonna have it close enough to the battery. You have to take these little plastic nuts off with the caps and then take this nut off here and then put the, the washer and that way it's flat. Don't put it on top and screw this on top of there. It's not tight enough and it won't stay tight enough. It's not a good connection. So we want to make sure we take this nut off, put that on there, and then put that back in there. Just remember, red obviously is hot, black is uh, negative. And then what I'm going to do next is see where I'm going to mount it. I'm going to mount this, um, I'm going to mount it in my trailer, and then we will run the wires to it, and we'll go from there. So, right here is my battery, and I'm going to take the cover off here, and we are going to mount it semi-close. I'm going to try to probably mount it this way to keep the water out of it as high as possible, so that way the water, and if I get um, something spraying in over here, it's going to run off versus putting it this way, and then it can run into it. So I'm going to mount it this way here, so that way the water can be um, not coming into it. All right. So we got it all hooked up. I did put some color in my trailer here, and we're going to turn it on here. It just got a little red switch. Turn it on. It does take some voltage down. We're about 12.2 on my battery. Um, you can see all my lights are working in my trailer now. I got something wrong with that wreath. 60 inch wreath is all lit up. And all my lights are on. So that is hooking up a power inverter. And with that, you always want to use a deep cycle battery, which is like a battery for a um, a boat, a marine battery. A marine battery designed to be able to fully go all the way down and then recharge back up. A car battery is not really designed to go 100% um, empty or even 50% empty. It's designed to get up there, maintain at that 12.6, and then when you start your car, it's going to run 13 volts, where a marine battery is allowed to go down, charge it back up, go down. If you do that with a car battery, it, it will die. So that's why we want to use a deep, deep, deep cycle battery. If you want to see more about a deep cycle battery, I talk a little bit more about it in depth in this video up here, and I'll see you in my next video.